So read, 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 stuck on the block, read, read, sitting in the box, read, 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 people, this is Akala, and this week's great read, please don't embarrass me if I pronounce it wrong, um, is by R.K. Naranyan, Narayan, I believe it is, sorry, Narayan, I added another um, N in there for no reason, um, it's called Malgudi Days, every country I go to, right, I always make sure I buy a book, and I always try and buy a book from an author from that country, at least one. And obviously this is not the first book I've read by an Indian author, but I did buy this when I was in India, I was in Mumbai. In fact, I bought it from a shop called Indian Fort Publications and the price was uh, RS120. One, one of the amazing things about being in India and really fascinating to me um, was for all the problems that India has. The Indian government, I believe, heavily subsidizes books. So books in India are cheaper than anywhere else I've been in the world. So I went ham, bought bare books. But also what was fascinating is that Indian people love reading so much that there's bootleg books, fam. You know there's the way there's bootleg um, CDs everywhere else. On like almost every street corner in Mumbai, there's a bootleg bookstore. Like it's, it will make you laugh. You're like, wow, this is some super nerd business. Like bootleg books and it's profitable obviously because the, all the bootleg book stations are still there. And um, so I bought some bootleg books too, I can't lie. Um, because boy, they were very cheap. So man could buy bare books. Um, but also a lot of the books that I bought on bootleg weren't available in, in the stores. This was one I did uh, pay the proper price for, but I'm not quite sure how much um, 120 translates to, I'm sure it's pretty cheap though. But back to the book. Uh, this author to me feels almost a little bit like, to make a crude comparison, almost like an Indian equivalent to Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Or Gabriel Garcia Marquez is an Indian equivalent to Narayan, whichever way you want to put it, in that he's created this fictional village that is obviously based on the village he grew up on, but he's, he's made it a fictional village. And he's written a series of short stories from all these different perspectives, really sweet, really interesting, almost like parables um, that really shape um, a image of this Malgudi fictional village, but really give you a sense of what it would have been like to grow up in a village in India in the period that he grew up on. But the prose is beautiful, the storytelling is incredible. It will really give you, at least for me, a, a sense of Indianness. You know the way that Marquez's novels, I've never been to Colombia, but you feel like you've been to Colombia. And any great writer should be that good. Toni Morrison, you feel like you've been to the Black South of America every time you read a Toni Morrison novel, because she's that good. Marquez is that good. Narayan is that good. Even though I've been to India a couple of times, reading his books make you feel literally like you're in a village in India and you understand the psychology and economic relationships and all the human complications. But the story is actually quite funny, quite lighthearted, quite interesting, but give a sense of some of the difficult undertones. Um, so really, really brilliant author. Actually a top, top draw author actually. Um, I've read a couple of his other novels, so he wrote some novels as well. But this was my choice because it really connected with me because I also like um, short stories. This week's great read is R.K. Narayan's Magoldi Days. Big up. So read, 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 stuck on the block, read, read, sitting in the box, read, read, read.